Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. Today I am going to be sharing with you my monthly everyday makeup routine, which is where I show you what I've been putting on my face in the month of February. So I recently posted a video of Makeup Revolution's metallic and gloss lip kits and I was swatching them. Um, I filmed that back at the start of February and a lot of you guys on Instagram and on that video was complimenting my eye makeup and asked for a tutorial on it. So I, that day I was really just kind of like mucking about with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. And to be honest, I don't remember exactly what I'd done, but then I liked it so much that I tried to recreate it and it was kind of my go-to look throughout the month. So this makeup isn't exactly the same as that video because I just don't remember exactly how those shades went on my eyes or what I used. But I have tried to recreate it and it's kind of given me like a really nice rose gold spring vibes. So I have done that makeup look for you today and shared with you some of the products I've been loving throughout the month of February. If you have not seen the Makeup Revolution video, I'll definitely leave it linked down below along with my giveaway video which is still open until, until March 15th so please go watch it after this one and enter. And yes, no more rambling, let's get into the video. Okay so I've zoomed in really nice and close to start off with and I am just going to take some of my Kiko Milano lip oil first because my lips have been really really dry recently. This will just sink in throughout. Um, when we do our makeup and then it'll be fine to put our lipstick on at the end. So this month I have been gravitating towards my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. As you can see, look how dirty it is. It's a little bit gross. But um, I am going to do the rose gold look that I posted on my Instagram that I've just probably spoken about in my intro. I've already prepped my eyes using the Urban Decay's Primer Potion in the shade Eden as normal. So that's already done, which is why my eyes are looking crazy. So the first thing I'm going to go into in this palette is this shade here. It's a mauve purple shade in the name Buon Fresco. Buen Buon Fresco. And I can never say that one, but it's this one right here. I'm just going to take that on the brush that comes in the palette and run it all the way through the crease. I really, really like using this shade as a crease colour. Normally I'm into like really nice kind of warm toned brownie shades but recently I have just been loving popping this in the crease. I think the purple makes my green eyes a little bit greener as well which is always nice to make your eyes pop. Now I'm going to go into this shade here which is called Tempara and just put a little bit on the same brush. I'm going to run that just above that line, gives it a little bit more of a blended look and it also brings a little bit light underneath the brow bone. This is honestly a super super simple look to do. Next up I'm going to go in with this gorgeous shade here which is called Love Letter. Once again same brush, if you watch my tutorials you will know that I'm not very big on using loads of different fancy brushes, I usually just try and stick with one or two. Probably because I'm more lazy to like get up and find different ones and clean them all the time. Um, but usually it works for me just fine. So I am just popping Love Letter into the outer um, half of the eyelid and kind of working that halfway into the crease. And you just need a really really light hand. If you've got this palette and you're going to be using like the same shades from the palette like I am, be very very light with Love the Letter because it's super super pigmented and you can end up ruining your look if you use a little bit too much. I'm now going to go into this gorgeous gold colour here. I think you say Primavera or Primavera. I don't really know. Who really needs to say the shade names correctly as long as you know what colour I'm using? That's what I think anyway. But I'm going to flip the brush over and use this little kind of short dumpy side. This is a packing side of the brush, so that's what's called a packing brush, which is great for packing on eyeshadow. So we are going to pop this into the inner half of the mobile eyelid. And I'm just packing that on. I do about two layers just to make sure that it's nice and shiny. And then I flip the brush over and just rub it between the gold and the um, red letter, the, sorry, love letter that we popped down. That just makes it blend a little easier. And then I want to take a really, really tightly packed brush. This is actually the um, Urban Decay brush from the Naked Smoky palette. 
And I'm going to pick up this shade here, which is called Antique Bronze. And I'm going to put this shade right into the very, very, very outer B of the eye. This will just give it a little bit dimension and make it look more faded, like an ombre effect on the eye. Then I'm just going to blend it with the fluffy side of this brush. That's basically it, that's really all I've done on the top of the eyes. Obviously it's not exactly the same as I explained in the intro, but yeah, that is basically it. Now I know you're all going to be super, super shocked, but this month I have been trying a new liquid eyeliner. It's not my usual collection, a Last Imperfection eyeliner. This one is the Super Cat Liquid Liner from Soap and Glory. I've actually been really liking it. It's quite thick, but similar to the collection one, and it gives a really, really nice line. In the picture that I posted in the video, I had a really, really skinny little liquid liner, but today I'm going to make it a little bit thicker, but not too much. Just like that. So overall, I'm actually really impressed with that eyeliner. It's quite easy to do and it doesn't dry as fast as the collection one or other eyeliners that I've tried, which is good because if you make a little mistake, it's easy just to kind of wipe it away with a cotton bud. So for mascara this month, I know another shop, I've not been using my Kiko Milano one, I have been using the Maybelline Last Lash. I can never say this. <laughs> this. Last. Oh. Lash Sensational. There we go. Um, this used to be one of my favourite mascaras a couple months back, probably maybe like just before Christmas or even last year. I used it for ages, but then I just stopped using it for some reason because I think I was trying some new ones. But um, I decided to try some new mascaras in February, but this is the one that I have been loving. So this is the waterproof version. I like waterproof purely because it holds the curl in my lashes better and it doesn't kind of like flake or smudge throughout the day. Okay, now onto the face and another shock <laughs> to some of you who watch my videos, I am not using my Urban Decay foundation. So this month I've been gravitating towards this Maybelline foundation. This is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 115. I used to use this all the time, last year again. Um, I actually wore this on my wedding day, which is how much I loved it because it gives you such a flawless coverage, but really, really natural looking skin as well. And it doesn't have any flashback, which is good for photographs, especially on your wedding day. So this is what I used. And this month I was thinking that I was just using my Urban Decay foundation too much because it is a lot of money. The Urban Decay foundation is actually a lot of money. It's really really expensive and I just felt like I was using it all the time and well I was using it all the time and I've only got like half a bottle left now so I thought I would go back to using some more like drugstore foundations just to keep it lasting a little bit more because I don't have 20 odd pounds to buy another bottle just now. So that is why I started using this one but honestly I do really 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 like this. Like I say, it gives you such a natural looking coverage but really full at the same time. And it's just so typical that my skin has been really good this month, for me anyway. And when I come to film this video, I have spots. So please ignore the spots on my face. For concealer, I recently picked up this one from Freedom London. It's the Pro HD Longwear Concealer and mine's is in the shade porcelain. I do this in the shade white which actually does look white but this is the lightest kind of coloured found, uh, concealer sorry if you know what I mean and it's in a really nice squeezy tube which is super handy for um, applying to your under eyes like so. This has got yellow undertoned as well so if you're maybe pink undertoned maybe get like the shade up from this because this might look a little bit too yellow on your skin. But well, if you have yellow undertones, then this will look lovely on you. So this is where I've been applying it, just like this. And then I'm just using my Real Technique sponge to blend it in. So if any of you guys have watched my Plan With Me videos, please let me know how you enjoy them. 
Um, I know that they've had, I think maybe like a couple hundred views, which is really good. Like I'm really happy at that because obviously this is not a planner or a crafty channel, it's a beauty channel. Um, so it's good that the ch uh, videos are still getting, you know, like quite a lot of views. I know 200 is not a lot of views, but for me, I'm really happy with that. Um, but I'm not sure if it's my subscribers that are watching. I know some of you have because you've left me some really nice comments or if it is new people. So please let me know if you are a subscriber that has been with me a little while, if you've watched the planner videos and if you enjoy them and what you think of them. Because I can definitely keep doing them. I really love doing them and I might just keep doing them anyway. But I'm just interested to know if you guys are enjoying them. That is the reason why I love doing my everyday makeup look because I feel like I can just be a little bit more chatty and chat to you guys and ask you if you're liking things etc. So yeah, definitely let me know what your plans are for this week and if you've had a good day and if you've enjoyed my videos in the month of February. I've got some really good ones coming up really soon. My setting powder has been the same this month, it is still the e.l.f. HD powder. I honestly love this powder and I'm so wishing that I had a got um, two when I went to New York because e.l.f. shipped to the UK but I mean they have a, a UK website but it's not that good. They could have a lot more better products on there so I just wish that I had picked up two but I just use this to set underneath my eyes. I don't really bake with it. Just set here and on my forehead because that wrinkles wrinkle problems getting old. That's what happens when you're 23. So now to finish off at the eyes, for the under eye it's really really simple, the first shade I took was that Gwen Fesco, that was the really nice like mauve purple shade that we took in the crease. So I'm just going to put that down, it's kind of like a base colour all over the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the shade Love Letter, which is just this shade here. That's like the pinky red shade that we used on the outer B of the eye. Just a little bit and pop that on the outer half of the lower lash line. Now I just add a little bit of mascara and that is the eyes done. done my eyebrows off camera there but I promise you an eyebrow routine video is coming. I know that a lot of you guys have requested to see my eyebrow routine which to be honest there's not I don't really do much at all like it's not a hardcore eyebrow routine like a lot of people do like carving them out and things but anyway that is coming soon. So bronzer this month been exactly the same this is the elf bronzer I think it's in the shade glow and I've been using my huge big real techniques brush to kind of bronze up the whole of my face If you guys watched my Tessa Primark makeup video, which I posted on Sunday, if you've not watched it, I'll leave it linked in the description box below. But if you have, you'll know that I fell in love with this little toothbrush. <laughs> it's not a toothbrush. This little um, face brush here, which I decided to contour with. So I filmed that video probably near the start of February, and I've been using this little brush to contour with ever since. So of course, I've still been using my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder, this one here. Honestly, I'm never, I don't think I'm ever going to use anything different because I love it so much. But this, honestly, this brush is amazing. All I do is kind of wiggle it here to make a little line and then I brush it up. And add a little bit more, just do a little bit at a time. Because it's quite a densely packed brush picks up a lot of product so I've made the mistake before of putting a little bit too much on and it looking a bit muddy. And then I take my Real Techniques contour brush and just blend that line up here so it's not as harsh on the actual cheek and it's more a solid line here, if that made any sense. So I want to start watching a new Netflix series because a lot of our programmes are kind of coming to like mid-season finales or the actual finale. And I've not got a lot 
to watch so if you guys have any recommendations of really good Netflix series or just series in general then please let me know and I'll be sure to check them out. Then I'm just going to take a little bit of my e.l.f. powder that I used to set the under eye and I'm just going to bake under this contour just so I make sure that it's nice and sharp. So this little brush is perfect for doing a nose contour. Um, honestly, I love it so much. It's the perfect size. It gets just right in here. This is only £2.50 and I love it so much. I would definitely recommend this little brush to anybody. And then lastly, I just take my Real Techniques contour brush and just do a little bit up here. Because that little toothbrush brush, I always call it a toothbrush brush, <laughs> but that's what it looks like. Um, but that one's just a little bit too little to contour up here. Highlighter this month, I've been using the Master Strobing Liquid by Maybelline. This one is in the shade, there is two shades, so I will get you this one. It's the lighter one. I think it's called Light Slash Iridescent and it's so beautiful. Again, like the Anastasia eyeshadows, you honestly don't need too much of this because it's super, super pigmented. So I just take a little spot on my finger and add it here. Blinding. I just kind of blend it out with my finger first. And then I take my Real Technique sponge and blend in. To set the cream highlighter, I've been using this Tarte palette. This is the Colour Feel, which is Amazonian Clay Blush Palette. And although these are blushers, this one here is like a nice golden cream shade. And I've been using this as a highlighter this month, just on a little fan brush. And whenever I use cream products, I always like to set them with a powder because it just makes them last longer and also it makes them obviously pop more because it's a double highlight. I just like to take that shade on my finger as well and just apply it into the inner corners of the eyes. For blush, I've been using this kind of nice pinky rosy shade right here. I think it's beautiful with the look. Now, lastly, for lips, in the Makeup Revolution video, I was wearing the new metallic lip kit in the shade We Rule. And this has honestly been one of my favourites again this month. Obviously, I don't wear the same lip shade every day. But I am definitely drawn towards this one. It's really, really pretty. Remember to check out the video where I swatch these lipsticks. It is going to be linked down below. Now I just use a quick little spray of the All Night Earth Spray from Urban Decay. And this is the finished look. So I really hope you enjoyed the video, thank you so so much for watching, um, hopefully it's given you some inspiration for the Modern Renaissance palette and it doesn't look too different from the makeup that I was wearing in the Makeup Revolution video. Um, give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe down below by clicking that red button. Come follow me on all my social medias too, Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter are all Kirsten Beauty and they're all down below as well. And yeah, I hope you have had a lovely day. Happy hump day, forgot to say that. It is Wednesday, so I hope you've had a fabby day. Um, and yeah, have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on Sunday with a Morphe 350 dupe video. Bye!